Hello, so here I am again and you got my vision already. So this is a quick start into my presentation now uh, about AR-ready environments. And now as opposed to people in, in the panel, here I would like to talk a lot more about computer science issues. After all, I'm a computer scientist and I'm an engineer and uh, eventually we have to build these systems. So the vision, much shortened, uh, is our approach here to say we want to do uh, have an environment that's ready for AR. And so that when you come in with whatever devices you have, mobile, then um, again it's a little bit the question about artificial intelligence. How much can the machine do by itself? How much will it need support? Either by me as a human, but maybe also by the environment. Why should my mobile phone be a try to do everything in its small processor? At least, of course, it will use compute servers, maybe some memory, some, uh, some information, but maybe it should also use sensors in the environment and also displays. Then it's maybe not AR anymore, but who cares? I would like to use all kinds of projectors and, uh, uh, and facilities. I also might want to use all kinds of ways of interacting with the system. If there is a push button there to, to turn on the lights, why should I do it on my phone if the, the button is there? And in particular today, and this is where we have worked on the most, these other fields we want to work on, but we haven't really done so much. But in, for tracking, again, we want to have things that are provided by the environment and mix that and combine it with things that we can do on our phone or, or whatever system we have, our Google Glasses or whatever is there in the future. So we want to combine that. And so for that now I have some ideas about how to do this so that when you walk into the next room, you don't have to start configuring your phone to say, now I want this sensor, and first I have to get a list of sensors, and I select some, and, and then I have to call the sensor fusion algorithms that maybe robotics has already provided for us uh, the, as a community. This all needs to be done somewhat automatically in, behind my back. Okay, so here are some examples of these kinds of ubiquitous tracking systems that, that, that I see necessary in the future and some that we have already built. So there are, these are two things in co cooperation with industry that we have been working on in the past year. So now you have to benefit this way also to get some videos, uh, otherwise this, this would be rather dry. So on the one hand, there was something about an intelligent welding gun with, uh, with a car company in Bavaria. And so there you would have, in the past, what they needed to do, this is only for prototypes. This is not for the, for the serious car production because there you would use robots for this and they do everything automatically and everything is pre-planned. When you are in the prototype uh, part of 